We'll talk very quickly about tanks and helicopters that have discounts. Planes are going to be in another video. All of this is experience and opinion based. Starting with USA. T-29 is a pretty cool tank. One shot and you obliterate your target because damage is insane. Normal armor, pretty slow, and you usually get one-shotted by more experienced players because the shells are stored in front and it's pretty easy to hit. Also, you can make fantastic golden setup. XM1 is very fast and mobile, but has very little armor, below average survivability, and very random damage. So you have to know maps very well to utilize its full potential. For experienced players, it's a pretty good option. For beginners, it's not a very good option. I'd rather buy a Talisman for M1 Abrams instead of this. King Tiger. Great cannon, good reload speed, it has some armor, but usually if someone penetrates you, you get one shot at because shells are stored in the back of your turret. You also have to think about positioning in advance because King Tiger is very slow. For passive positional gameplay, it's good, but for aggressive rushes, it's not that great. Durham 3 is a tank that is very high skill, very high reward. Beginner players are going to suffer unless they use it for sniping. It has great cannon, great mobility, insane reload speed, fantastic additional cannon, great stabilizer, but average speed, no armor, it's massive, and one-shotting this tank is extremely easy because shells are literally stored all over this tank. Great option for experienced players. Leo A1A1. It has great cannon that does solid damage, thermals, and good mobility. The problem is that it has average speed and no armor at all. So it's a very skill-reliant tank. If you make a mistake, you will get punished for it. If you take a good position and play carefully, then you will be rewarded. It is a solid option. Personally, I like it, but a lot of people go for Leo 2 and ignore this option. Leo 2 is a good solid tank. It has great speed, great mobility, very good survivability, but damage is very random because all enemies have composite armor plates that just eliminate damage. Also, drones are here and that's not fun. A lot of people love Leo 2, it's just I had way more fun with Leo A1-1 that nobody likes anymore. Honestly, both good options and I know that beginners have a bit more luck with Leo 2 as it is easier to learn. IS-6 has pretty good armor, which is amazing in top and maybe sometimes can help in under tier. This cannon, while well, it requires skill to use, you learn its ballistics and enemy weak spots, you're good to go. If you don't want to learn, but rather you want to lay back and enjoy the game, I'd take KV-122, which is a better option in my eyes. IS-6 is a pretty good solid tank, very mobile for a heavy tank. Object 120 is a glass cannon tank destroyer that can penetrate everyone. It's phenomenal sniper because shells fly like lasers. It also has a pretty good speed for such a big size. But why nobody plays it? Because it has no armor and it's easy to spot. So planes are going to eat you up like candy because they can penetrate you with machine guns. And damage, one time I had to shoot a guy four times to destroy him. So yeah, sometimes it's underwhelming. The legendary T 55 AM. It is amazingly good. It was my first pre top premium that took my hands and made them straight. It taught me how to play. Great cannon, has every single shell type you need, great mobility, good speed, armor can save you sometimes, it can do everything. Fantastic teacher, you can also make a massive 8.3 setup to it. It is one of the best premium tanks in game. It will get you to the top USSR with ease. Turumste, the most popular top tier tank in game. It has some armor, good cannon, amazing thermals, can drive forward, but it can't drive backwards at all. Reverse speed is terrible, and it's extremely important in this battle rating. Durums is a great tank for defense and holding positions. For that reason, it's good option for defensive players. But Durums is very poor at rushing and pushing enemies. Unless you get to the top, then it's good at pretty much everything. But guess what? You won't get to the top. So for aggressive players, I don't recommend it. And Legendary K50. Everybody knows about it. If you want to dominate and ruin other lives, it's the way to go. It is great in combined battles and it's fantastic in PvE battles where it can bring you a lot of silver. You can counter anti-air rockets with it and send one back. Avre. It's a meme tank made purely for fun, good armor, mobility, and 
cannon that shoots juicy and thick shells, which has four times more explosives than KB2. But because of its terrible ballistics, it's fun to play with in arcade battles only. And it's not fun in realistic ones as it requires a lot of skill to use. Roycat 105, amazing speed, very fast and active gameplay, has thermals, great cannon that can penetrate everyone, and absolutely no armor whatsoever. So on massive big maps, it's insanely fun. But whenever it gets to a city map, especially Breslau, it's terrible because every turn just absolutely nullifies its speed, painful to watch, but besides that, it's extremely fun. Challenger DS, it has armor on the turret, good cannon which gives you 5 shots with 5.3 second reload and you can make it 5 seconds with aces. Average mobility, normal reverse speed, it's not super fast but it moves. A lot of people hate this tank and they say that it's weak. Well, yeah, it's difficult to play with, but it's not that bad. I personally love it. It's pretty good. I don't recommend it for beginners, but for more experienced players, I don't see why not. Roycat is more fun though. Type 74G. Well, it can dance. We can dance if we want to. I really love the looks of it, but let's be honest, besides that, it's nothing special. It's slowest 9.0 MBT, has armor that only helps against anti-airs. I mean, you can do well with it if you go full sweat mode, but the same rule applies for literally every tank. It feels like a 8.7 tank, to be honest. Japan doesn't get much love. Unlike China, ZDZ-96 or Type 96A, it's literally like Turms, just as beautiful, but has slightly better reverse speed. It also has better armor, same amazing thermals, and damage is a little bit more stable, which is very good. It also informs you about lasers pointing at you, and it can mess up rockets that were shot from older helicopters if you aim with your turret directly at them. So it's a better version of Turms. Z19E is a pretty good helicopter with good anti-air rockets, great maneuverability, but it has pretty slow ATGMs, so working against tanks will not be as comfortable. It is very good for combined battles. However, it's normal for farming in PvE. Obviously, if there's K-50s with Apache sitting next to you, well, then you won't do much over there. Somo SM, wonderful heavy tank, great cannon that does good damage even with solid shot shells, great reload speed and most importantly good armor. I mean don't rely on it too much but people think it's a French tank so I will penetrate it everywhere but you have 150 millimeters armor in the hull which is as much as King Tiger and on top of that your mobility is good but when you shoot out nine of your shells you become a massive useless piece of baguette and then you have to wait for eternity to load a shell rinse and repeat so it's fantastic at the beginning and it becomes kv2 at the end of the match AMX 30 Super. It's a great option for experienced players because it has good mobility, great cannon, damage is pretty solid, but it doesn't have armor. It's like Leo A1A1, but faster, which is amazing. Solid, great choice that suits players who have played tops before. CV90105. Great movement speed, great reload speed, fantastic thermals, normal shells, but no armor at all whatsoever. This vehicle is great at flanking and countering enemy rushes. If you know the maps well and you have gathered a handful experience, then it's a good option. But I would not recommend it to beginners at all because it's hard to play with. If you make a mistake here and there, you're gonna die. M51 is useless pile of garbage compared to other tanks that you can get. I don't recommend it at all because of its low damage, lack of stabilizer, slow movement speed, and no armor. Don't waste your money. Merkawa. Well, it's the only option for Israel. Pretty good, but random tank. Sometimes you will bounce crazy shots and your survivability will be through the roof, but sometimes you will get one shot. Good cannon, insane amount of smokes, good survivability, random armor, average mobility, but it's pretty slow. So overall, it's a pretty good tank. That is all.